you have given method of it okay there are different uh, problems that yes, will happen you have checking from first day fourth day seventh day okay fourth day uh, what do you expect in a so, normal case it can be the same or it can increase because the syncytial trophoblast activity will be re- even if we give methotrexate the syncytial trophoblastic activity will be there Very good. only what are the examination findings you will take care of it and what are the investigations you will do specific to this particular case sunanda so patient will uh, present to us with symptoms of uh, easy fatigability tiredness lethargy and uh, severe breathlessness on examination she will have uh, paler tachycardia she will also have palpitation so does it have any further infertility have any bearing on fibroids and uh, how does it cause infertility and will fertility improve with surgery dr krishna Uh, 30% of infertile patients seem to us uh, have fibroids 1 to 2% of the infertility is solely due to fibroid and in fibroid 5 to 10% are infertile okay earlier we used to give only postnatal like after delivery we used to give anti immunoglobulin is in tapes so what would be the risk reduction if you give anti immunoglobulin after delivery and what will be the risk reduction if you give Uh, anti immunoglobulin antenatally and what will be the risk if you do not give anti immunoglobulin we have done a study in manipal which suggested definitely post surgery there was a slight drop in amh levels suggesting the antral follicular count and ovarian volume can be lesser very little benefit to diagnostic laparoscopy to look for endometriosis in women without symptoms what it means is if the patient doesn't have symptoms there is no need to do diagnostic laparoscopy only to diagnose endometriosis etiology very important why does it happen as i said obstetric causes are most common the episio so called episio proctotomy you cut an episiotomy and it goes right into the rectum that is a poorly done episiotomy done in a hurry but done by an amputee and this should not be so what is imacorrhizin imaco stands for e stands for etoposide eto- m stands for methotrexate a stands for actinomycin c stands for cyclophosphamide and o for vincristine now how do we give this drugs On day one, we give etoposide, actinomycin, and methotrexate, and also we give folinic acid rescue. This has to be started. 20- In all these situations, it becomes severe preeclampsia, or it gets identified as preeclampsia for the first time. So this classification does tell you, doesn't it, that proteinuria is not a must for diagnosis of preeclampsia, as we were taught earlier. So there has been a change of thought but please remember that the presence of proteinuria severe proteinuria also indicates that there is uh, you know underlying nature of the disease is very severe Supposing you not done it before at least do by around 20 weeks of gestation or even little later it has to be done even in the first trimester if it's possible that means a PCO of woman should have gtt if they become pregnant please do it at that time as well it's not because the parasympathetic and all that is stimulated it is a reflex action because it, because she coughed that is transmitted to the bladder and that overcomes where or becomes more than the urethral pressure and then she leaks urine these four components are very important for you to say the definition of stress urinary incontinence it is a common type of incontinence and occurs in the young unlike the urge urge often occurs in older age group the stress in a relatively young not in the very young.